difficulties to diagnose. We've started looking at building up, you know, um, the databases to see, you know, what do, how do these kids present, what are some of, you know, the symptoms they exhibit and what is the definitive treatment we can do for all of them. And as you know, TB is very treatable and if the child gets the necessary uh, attention at the right time, the child can be treated. The most common symptoms of TB include a persistent cough, night sweats and fever, weight loss and then also enlarged lymph nodes. However, I didn't show the general signs and my TB was more in my lymph nodes. Um, sorry. I was very strong, told myself, you know, I will finish this treatment, I'll continue my studies. Um, yeah, I always knew that being a medical student is probably one of the reasons why I really caught this illness because we're exposed to it every single day. The first, you know, two months were okay. I took this medication every day, I went to class, but the lymph nodes still continued to grow. It grew even bigger than a golf ball, so it was very difficult to move around, very difficult to go about my day, luckily it was winter, so I always wore a scarf. Sorry, I always get very emotional when I talk about it. Um, in my fifth month though, then I started to feel ill. So we did some tests and unfortunately the TB medication sort of messed up my liver. And that wasn't working properly. Yeah, that's when I got really sick. It's like I wasn't myself. But there was even a time when I was hallucinating. Sarah Rose Summers, Nebraska. The next contestant making it into the finals. Nebraska. I was in the Children's Hospital in Omaha when I was five years old. I don't remember a whole lot of it, but I remember my parents being really scared, and I had never seen my dad scared. 